What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle coming with another Halloween treat special. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create these Rice Krispie Treat popsicles using my geometric mold. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Be sure to like, and let's get right into the supplies. Here I have my purple Merkins candy melts and some chocolate chameleon food coloring. Then we have my geometric heart shape mold with some popsicle sticks, the color black. And I'm going to be adding some Rice Krispie Treats to my mold. And we have our rolling pin and my little bat molds. And we're using some famous cutters, embossery cutters my fondant and we got two tablespoons of paramount crystals so the first thing you want to do is set your molding pieces that's going to be added to your treats here i'm using some Renshaw fondant in the color black and you want to make sure you need out all the cracks before applying to your cavity mold Break off a small piece and take a small, generous amount and roll it into the palm of your hand or onto your surface. And then you want to take that piece, roll it in a little rope-like shape, and just apply it to the cavity. Now I'm using a smaller version of the bat, and you want to make sure that you put it into your cavity piece and roll it with your rolling pin just to assure that you have it into your mold and taking your scraper and scrape off the extra fondant that is on the mold or you can pinch it off if you don't have a scraper taking the mold and just pulling it back and start to peel out your fondant piece and apply it before you apply it to your treat let them sit for at least a couple of hours so they can become firm before you apply, apply them to your tree. Now here is some Renshaw Orange, and you see it's really rough here, but once you knead it, it will smooth out, and you wanna make sure it's really kneaded well, smooth and soft, so that you'll be able to use your embossery stamp to create this um, lettering that you've seen me show in the beginning of this video. So rolling it out, not too thin and not too thick, but you can roll out to your desired amount before you emboss your piece. So I'm just rolling and flipping, and now I'm getting ready to stamp my spooky emboss stamp here. And I'm doing it in three parts and leaving a space in between so that I can take the cutter and cut out the embossery of this of this stamp Now it's time to melt our chocolate. Here I have 16 ounces of uh, colored purple candy melts. And I'm going to add in two tablespoons of the Paramount Crystals. And I'm going to melt my chocolate melts for 30 seconds. You want to melt in 30 second intervals. And after the first interval, make sure you take your spoon and mix it around so that you won't have any 
um, candy melt stuck to the glass and um, burn. So after each interval, make sure you mix. And as you see here, you see some clumping. Well, the chocolate is warm and hot and you wanna let it cool a little bit, but I'm gonna show you a nice trick with the chocolate chameleon. The chocolate chameleon, I'm getting ready to color. You wanna make sure you shake it up well and you just add you a nice generous amount. It does not change the taste of your chocolate. So I'm adding a nice amount and watch this magic happen. So in the comments below, let me know what you see changed when I applied this chocolate chameleon to this mix of candy melts. All right. So I let you tell me what you seen different in this part of the video. Now we're going to take our chocolate and apply a small amount to the cavity mold. You want to add just a nice, small, generous amount, just enough to coat the cavity of the mold. Once you have applied in your chocolate, you want to have your small little either popsicle stick or this little spatula that you see here. It's a nice, small, straight spatula and begin to maneuver the chocolate around and move it up towards the cavity walls of your mold so that it can get a full coverage, a full coating on the sides of your cavity molding piece here. So move um, as much around. You don't want no holes or missing spots. Just maneuver all that chocolate around. And once you have done all of that coverage, just shake it or tap it onto your surface so that your chocolate can come back all together. And then it's going to go in the freezer for five, for about five minutes because this is just the shell of it. All right. And once you put it in the freezer for five minutes, um, make sure you bring it right out and apply your Rice Krispie treats. So here, before you apply, before you put your cavity uh, mold in the freezer, you can apply your sticks and insert them right into the little cut. It's a little cut right at the bottom part of that mold. And you wanna slide that in and then you place them into your freezer for five minutes. Now, after the five minutes is up, you want to make sure that your chocolate is hardened and still not soft. If so, it needs to go back in. But once it has hardened and your sides are covered, you want to check your molding and make sure you got chocolate fully covered around the sides of the mold. And then you want to add a second coating of chocolate to the sides of your molding. So just take you a nice amount. You can use your popsicle stick or your straight spatula and just start applying that extra chocolate to the sides to assure that you have enough chocolate and that it is solid so that it won't crack when you start to apply your Rice Krispies treats. Now it's time to add our Rice Krispie Treats. 
Now, once you have applied that extra layer of chocolate, you don't need to put it back in the freezer. If you feel you need to do so, by all means, um, add it back to the freezer for just a few minutes and then apply the Rice Krispie Treats. Now here, you can test, take your Rice Krispie Treats, smash them um, as thin as you can get them because this is um, a narrow um, cavity mold. So you don't want it to be too bulky on the back side. So smash enough as possible and then apply it to the shape of your mold to make sure you have enough, fill it to the ends, and then we're going to be ready to cover it with chocolate. Now, once you apply your chocolate, you want to um, be conscious of how much you're applying to these particular molds. You don't want to overdo it. Just apply enough where you can spread around evenly and make sure that it can clean up off the edges very well. So you can do that by taking your spoon and just spreading around your chocolate as you see me doing. And then you're going to take your scraper and begin to clean up the edges of the mold. And don't worry, that won't show up when, once you um, take it out the freezer. Just make sure you clean up your edges as you're going to see me do in the next few steps. So after this process and I clean up my edges, I'm going to uh, place it in the freezer for about 5 to 10 minutes so that it can fully um, seal and become solid and after five to ten minutes then we are ready to move our mold so check it out So now our hearts, our Rice Krispie Treats are done. So once you have removed them from the freezer, you want to remove by just pushing from the bottom side and force it out, but be gentle and then pull it by the stick. And then once you flip it over, voila. You may have some chocolate that is over a little bit on the edges you can just scrape them off or just break them off just a little bit because it should be just a little bit and then you see here don't worry about the back um, but we have a nice surface and shape of the geometric heart here and the color is beautiful now it's time to add our decorated pieces to our treats so what i'm going to do is use my chocolate as glue to apply my embroidery piece which is my little spooky stamp and i will leave the link in the description box below so you just hold it on there until it sticks and then you want to take a small amount and add it to this section this is just my design particular design i chose to create for this um, molding and that's this little bat and there you have it so i really like these these are really fun to make and if you have enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up let's get it to some likes let's get it to about five six hundred likes this time and also leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you have enjoyed this video. And also don't forget to subscribe and check out the links in the description box up under this video. Okay, it's going to be more to come. So stay tuned. And here you have the Halloween spooky geometric Rice Krispie treats. All right. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe 
and you already know. It's your girl Ro about to go, and I'll see you all in the next video.